one particular important type of chemical reaction that takes place inside our body and inside our cells is the acid-base reaction. Now remember, acid-base reactions determine what the pH of the solution is. And the pH is a factor that can influence the many different types of biological processes that take place inside our body. As we'll see in the next lecture, for example, the pH can determine what the final structure is of biological molecules such as proteins and DNA. Now, in this lecture, we're going to focus simply on what an acid-base reaction is, we're going to remember what pH is, and we're going to remember what acidic and basic solutions are. So, let's begin by recalling what an acid-base reaction is. So, an acid-base reaction is a reaction in which we exchange an H plus ion between two different molecules. So, we have the acid molecule that donates an H plus ion and a bond is broken, while the other molecule, the base, accepts that H plus ion because it has a lone pair of electrons and it forms a covalent bond. So in an acid-base reaction, we have an exchange of a proton and the reason we say a proton is because a hydrogen ion lacks an electron and, all, and it only has a proton in the nucleus. So in any acid-base reaction, we have a hydrogen atom that is exchanged between our two molecules, the acid and the base, and at the same time, one covalent bond is broken and another covalent bond is actually formed. So, let's suppose we have some hypothetical acid, HA, where A is simply an atom or a group of atoms that are attached to our H atom, and this is a covalent bond. Now, when this acid dissociates, this covalent bond is broken and the two electrons in that covalent bond end up on the A atom. And so this gains an additional electron and so it becomes an anion. It gains a negative charge while this one loses an electron and so it only consists of a proton in the nucleus and so this is the hydrogen ion, aka also known as a proton. Now, usually these acid reactions, acid-base reactions, take place in water because our body consists predominantly of water. And so we have a water molecule that will grab the H ion using one of its lone pair of electrons on the oxygen to form the following hydronium ion. Now, the next question is, what exactly is the method by which we calculate, we measure the hydrogen ion concentration inside solution? So we use something called the pH. And the pH is nothing more than a fancy way of determining what the concentration is of our solution. So the pH is equal to negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration in that solution. So, if we know what the pH is, then we can easily calculate what the concentration of the hydrogen ion in solution is. For example, if you know that the pH is equal to 7 at room temperature, then you can use this and a bit of algebra to calculate what the concentration is. So, if the pH is equal to 7, we set the left side of the equation equal to 7 and then we solve for the hydrogen ion concentration. Concentration. So we essentially take the negative side, uh, we negate both sides, so this becomes negative, this becomes positive, then we raise both of these to the power of 10 so that the log cancels out and we get that the concentration of the hydrogen ion in solution is equal to 1 times 10 to negative 10 when our pH is equal to 7.0. Now, by knowing what the hydrogen ion concentration is, we can also determine what the hydroxide concentration in solution is. And that's because of the following equation. So if we have a beaker of pure water, even in that beaker of pure water, water molecules will also dissociate by this same equation. So even though water is a weak acid, water molecules will still dissociate into these two ions 
an H plus ion and a hydroxide ion. Now, by using basic chemistry, we can set up the equation for the equilibrium constant K. So the equilibrium constant K for this reaction is equal to the product of the concentration or the product of the concentrations of these two molecules divided by the concentration of the reactant, in this case, pure water. Now, at room temperature, this K value is measured to be 1.8 times 10 to negative 16. And the concentration of water in pure water is always a constant value. It's always equal to 55.5. And so because this is a constant and this is a constant, we can plug those values into this equation and we get 1.8 times 10 to negative 16 is equal to this multiplied by this, our two unknowns, divided by a constant. So 55.5. And so if we bring this to the left side, we multiply them out, we get 1.0 times 10 to negative 14 is equal to the product of the concentration of the hydrogen ion and the concentration of that hydroxide ion. And this is always true at room temperature. So basically what this equation is, and let's call this equation A, and by the way, this is, or this is equation B, and this is equation A. From equation B, if we know what the concentration of the, uh, the hydrogen ion is, and we can calculate that by using this equation A, then we can easily calculate what the concentration of the uh, hydroxide ion is by using equation B. For example, let's use this case once again. Let's suppose our pH is 7, where at room temperature, and what that means is, based by this calculation, the concentration of the hydrogen ion at a pH of 7 is equal to 1 times 10 to negative 7. So now that we know equation B and we know what this value is, we can plug that into this equation and solve for the concentration of the hydroxide ion. And so if we plug that in, we get 1.0 times 10 to negative 14 is equal to, so now we know what this value is, it's 1.0 times 10 to negative seven, and we're looking for this concentration. So we solve for that and we see that this is also equal to 1.0 times 10 to negative 7. So we see that if the pH is equal to 7 and we're at room temperature, then the concentration of the, hyd uh, the hydroxide ion is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion. And at this particular moment in time, the solution is said to be neutral because the two concentrations are equal. And by the way, this 1.10 times 10 to negative 14 value is equal equal to K with the W subs, uh, subscript. So this is equal to K with the W subscript, where the W stands for water, and this particular value works at room temperature. Now, what exactly do we mean by an acidic solution, and what exactly do we mean by a basic solution? So an acidic solution is a solution in which the concentration of the hydrogen ion in solution is greater than the concentration of the hydroxide ion. So we know if this is equal to this, then this is a neutral solution, but an acidic solution is a solution in which this concentration is greater than this concentration. Now, for example, let's suppose we know that the concentration of the H plus ion of our solution is equal to 1.0 times 10 to negative 6. The question is, what exactly is the pH of this solution? Well, to find the pH, we use equation A. So the pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of that hydrogen ion, which is 10 to negative 6. We plug that in and we get a pH of 6. In fact, we see that any time this is greater than this, the pH of that solution will be below 7. 
And so if the pH of our solution is below 7 at room temperature, that solution is said to be acidic. Now, what about basic solutions? Well, a solution is said to be basic if the concentration of the hydrogen ion is less than the concentration of the hyd uh, hydroxide ion. And so in this case, the solution is said to be basic. Now, by the same exact reasoning, let's suppose that our hydro uh, hydrogen concentration is 1.0 times 10 to negative 8. Let's find what the pH is of this particular solution. So once again, we apply the same exact equation, equation A. So the pH is equal to negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration and is equal to, so we plug that into the calculator and we get a value of eight. So we see that any time this condition is true, the pH will always be above 7. In fact, any time we have a solution with a pH of above 7 and we are at room temperature, that means our solution will be a basic solution. So at room temperature, a pH of above 7 means the solution is basic. So we have an acidic solution is a solution in which the pH is below Low seven, a basic solution is a solution in which the pH is above seven, and a neutral solution is a solution where the pH is equal to seven. And at that particular moment in time, the concentration of our uh, base, the hydroxide, is equal to the concentration of our acid, our hydrogen ion. So these are the basics you're going to need to use in the next lecture. So in the next lecture, we're basically going to discuss how the pH of a solution inside our body can actually influence what the reaction is, what the biochemical reaction pathway is, and what the final structure is of that biological molecule that is produced in that particular biochemical reaction.